He helped stop a school shooting with a gun he was not supposed to have in that school. Shamson Sandara was the security guard working at STEM School Highlands Ranch in May during a deadly school shooting there, the one that killed Kendra Castillo. Sandara helped disarm one of the suspected shooters, but he also fired his own gun at what turned out to be a plainclothes sheriff's deputy. He missed her with his shots, but they went through a classroom wall, injuring two students. Now, there's a law preventing the concealed carry of weapons at school, but he will not be charged. Our Marshal Zellinger looks into why and what it means for anyone else. The bill is postponed indefinitely. Democratic Thank lawmakers you. just voted down a bill to allow someone to carry a concealed handgun at school, the sixth straight year this bill has died. But does it matter? Current law states a concealed carry permit does not authorize a person to carry a concealed handgun onto a public school. There are certain exceptions, but what happened at Stem Highlands Ranch in May is not one of them. The school had a contract with a private security company to have an unarmed guard. Yet today we learn that guard, Shamson Sundara, will not be charged for having a gun at school because he used it within the law. El Paso and Teller County District Attorney Dan May investigated this part of the Stem case, and in a statement today he wrote, Although it was illegal for him to have a gun on the premises, our investigation has determined that his actions were in compliance with applicable law. That applicable law is the use of physical force in defense of a person. So does it matter that lawmakers continue to kill a bill preventing someone from carrying a concealed gun at school if in this case the person doing it illegally? was in charge. I'm not sure I'd say they're connected. DAs use their discretion all the time in these kinds of situations. Democratic Representative Chris Kennedy chairs the committee that rejected allowing concealed carry in schools. The message is still clear that you cannot carry a concealed weapon on a school campus. It's against the law. I think people could definitely say that there's a conflicting message. Christopher Jackson is an attorney who reviewed the laws for us and points out there's a nuance between illegal and being charged. It could be black and white that there was a crime that was committed, but it's a separate question about whether a district attorney would actually charge somebody with that crime. Just because one district attorney chooses not to file charges for something illegal does not mean another one will do the same. But a DA's discretion isn't really precedent. It would be different if a judge were to rule a certain way on a case, and then that could be cited as a defense in future cases, Jeremy. Interesting, Marshall. And I can see how people can use this circumstance to use it as an argument for, for both and against guns in school. Thank you very much.